Hello and welcome to stage 16 of our 2012 Tour de France playthrough on PCM 2019. We're up to stage 16, which was stage 15 in real life. It's a reasonably flat stage today. Everyone's looking in a reasonable form. Maybe Uran and Cavendish, a bit of, bit of low fitness there, but a plus one is expected on Mark Cavendish. Favourites for today's stage, Mark Cavendish, followed by Greipel. Petacci, Freya, Benedetti, Rojas, Hausler, then Bosenhagen, Goss, and Henderson. Let's revise ourselves on what's happening. Wiggins is fifth overall, 1 minute 42. Young rider is Bosenhagen, he's 20 minutes down on Tarame. He, we will uh, probably not catch that out up. Team classification is Team Sky, we're leading it by 5 minutes. Cavendish leading the points, then Wiggins. And best climber is Vokola, leading Roach. Let's get into the racing. As it loads, let's have a look at the actual results. So the results in real life, there was a breakaway that ended up winning. The breakaway was led by Pedic Federigo of FDJ, followed by Chris, Christian van der Velde, then Tommy Vokler once again, Nicky Swenson, Dries Devnoins, and Samuel Dumoulin, top six on the stage. Then leading the peloton home was Andre Greimel, finished in seventh position, 11 minutes 50 down, followed by Tyler Farrar, Peter Sagan, and Chris Brookman. On that stage, a few riders DNF'd. There was Yahuni Hitherich, the Belarusian sprinter for FDJ, Kenny Van Hommel for Van, Van Sol, Sylvain Chavanel for Mega Pharma, Vincent Jerome for Europecar, and Britt Lancaster for Oracle Green Edge. So, we, won't, we hopefully won't do that. Let's get into the racing. So today's race is just going to be talking about keeping Cavendish in the right position throughout, well, keep Cavendish and protect it all the way through the race. So let's put uh, Frumi on Cavo and possibly Uran, maybe? Let's put Uran onto my port. I'll uh, we'll put port onto Wigo. There we go, nicely done. Otherwise, the breakaway can just break away for all we mind at the moment. It does look a little bit more undulating than originally thought, so it might have a bit of trouble near, the, near this bit here, keeping Capo in the wheel, but we'll find out. Attack by Menard. Vulgrenard. Kirienka, for once, he's in the breakaway rather than spending the whole day on the front pulling the peloton. We've got Gusev of Katusha there also. Exciting times. Breakaway's now got two minutes. We can start to speed up our simulation here. Lompre is driving the pace. Who's Lompre's leader today? Let's have a look. Lompre, Lompre. They've got the sprinter, Petachi. Mega Farmer still only got four riders. I mean, Left Hammer is eighth overall, so. It... Yeah, ne ne never mind. Um, who are we using as domestic? <sighs> Maybe Iran. Possibly Iran, yeah. It's Iran is domestic today. So both are now going for the sprints and Rogers for the Rogers and Logfast for the lead out. Requis now got four minutes, we can times that simulation up to times eight. Iran can get some water. Should be quite a reasonably simplish sprint today. Remembering that a lot of our sprinters crashed out. One of the earlier stages. Well, not crash out, like I'm disconnected from the multiplayer server. Awesome. A lot of our slot sprinters crashed out, like uh, Boonin, not really a sprinter, Demar, Christoph, Viviani, uh, Renshaw, Wagner. Yeah, quite a few sprinters crashed out. Keep it going, let's go. Keeping Bradley Wiggins safe. <sighs> be an exciting day. Now, these intermediate sprint points, there's a downhill afterwards with reasonable time for Cavendish to recover. So we will actually go for these intermediate sprints with Cavo. Try to get some more points that he might lose in some of the other stages. 
So we've got 10 Ks to go. So what we'll do is we'll grab Logvast and we'll put Cabo in Logvast's wheel. Still 10 Ks to go, so we don't need to go that fast yet. We'll just put him on like 67. Kick him near the front. We'll, where is Cabo? Cabo. Still going quite far. and we'll slow down a bit. 64. Wait, get in his wheel. Fine. Go up here then. 5k to go, let's go 70 now. Cabo's in the wheel. Get protect that green jersey. Only going 70, so it's 35k's now. Nothing much. We'll ramp it up a bit when we get a bit closer to the sprint. Who's on Cabo's wheel? Mallory. No one. Yeah, Henderson's moving up. Keep an eye on him. 2k's to go, it's like going about 80 now, 80 effort, start ramping the pace up, forcing everyone to work a bit harder, Ninety two. Cabo, you can sprint a bit, you can sit up, you can sit up, you can wait, ah, no one else really sprinted behind, let's have a look, results, uh, log fast, Mallory. Yeah, no one sprinted behind really. Bosenhagen got some points. Yeah, so um, we'll be doing that. Not the end of the world, not the start of the world. We're still looking pretty good in the overall points classification. Cabo's still leading that. Excellent. Just over 60k to go. I should probably be talking during this point, I suppose. Times 8 until we get to maybe 30 k's to go. Uran, get us some more Waterman. Let's go. We do want to catch a breakaway today, so. If needed, we will put someone on the front, and that'll probably be Uran, because he's doing he's done a lot of work today already. We should have enough water to survive all the way. We can get to put Uran the front. No, 980. That's a bit fast, maybe 74. No? Okay. There we go. Let's see on the front, maybe we'll go down to the 69 then. Maybe 70. 74, there we go. It's a slight breakaway. Right have been dropped as well, who's that? Steven Kreisberg, a young Steven Kreisberg for Team Rybank. Roy Kervis, he's going out the back as well. Around driving the pace. Any major hills coming up? No, maybe a little one. Okay, so let's get our sprint train. So let's go around. You can go up to 85. Near the front man, near the front. Oh, I've got to the front man, please. Oh, there has been a fall. Oh, oh, let's see who's in this fall. Andy Schleck, who's 9th overall. David Arroyo. Alejandro Verde, 10th overall. Kreisvag, Ide, Clark, Pettis, and... Covers is fine. Okay, so we've got a slight gap on the 9th and 10th overall, so we might actually put the hammer down and start smashing the front. So we've got Rigoberto Uran. We're then going to go Richie Port, because he's in a pretty reasonable bad health. Through in between there, because why not? The Logvast. Bosenhagen, Cavendish, Wiggins, and let's have a look. Rogers can go after Logbust. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, start putting the hammer down and start getting our sprint train all organized. These riders will probably catch back up, but if there's a chance to make them not, it's probably better to hopefully win some time. Oh, Port all the way back and. Bosenhagen's in the wrong place as well. It's going to be messy this finish. Very messy. It's just a bunch we're looking we're waiting for. There's Schlick coming back up now. Valverde coming back. Yeah, possibly that bunch. There's Jelen Oran. Port, get up to man. 
Rouses in a reasonable order. Get this last little climb and then we'll be smooth sailing all the way home. So attacking the breakaway. Put energy gel on Froome now. We're going to Uran back down to 89 as we wait for the rest of the bunch to get back together. Oh, there's a few splits and there's another crash. Slight splits in the peloton here. A lot of. Okay, so well, we're looking at the crash. We'll put everyone on 99 and get ready to just send it. Just full send. Don't care about the low energy on these guys because. Energy on port as well. Oh no, oh no, look fast, look fast. Don't drop the wheel and. Through 99, let's go. Brand automatic. Energy on log vast. Port go. Froom, bye bye. To the left, to the left, left, roll off, room, roll off. Energy on Rogers. Port's leading them through. Log vast go. Port, full pull to the right. Excellent. 3Ks to go. Rogers is now rolling through. Logvast can sit on the back, because why not? Energy gel for the all three leaders today. Let's just do a quick look back at this gap. It's looking alright. You got Rogers opening up. Go, 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 go. Sprint for Rogers. 1k to go, Bows and Hagen launches. Cavendish launches a bit late. Cavendish, Cavendish. <laughs> Don't get blocked, Cavendish. Oh, I launched a bit late with Kevo and we go and everyone. Fourth place for Kevo, that's alright. Now we'll try and force some time gaps here, so we'll slow down with Richie Port. Doesn't matter, we're still in the bunch. Please be a gap here, please be. Oh, there's probably not going to be a gap there. Oh, we could have made some time on Vinokorov. Okay, let's just have a look at the results then and just see what occurred. Really hope we made some time on Vinokorov. That would have been cool if we did. Podium stage win for Vasil Kirienka. Mark Cavendish comes in fourth. Jose Joachim Rodriguez second. Grapple third. Oh, it's unlucky. General classification, nothing has changed. Oh, yes. Ninth and tenth. Ooh. Rain Tarme is now in the top ten. Climb is still Vokla. Points is still Cavo. Young Rider is still Rain Tarme. Where's still the team classification? So what? Who lost time? Oh, that as a double. Okay. Cavo fourth, was not an eighth. So the first time gap is here. Lifheimer. Liffy Lifheimer lost three minutes. Okay. Anyone pull out? Nope. Ah, oh, if there was a bit of time gap system like in PCM20, we would have gained time on the yellow jersey. Lifheimer's down to 14th now. So, Kofidis, man, in the top 10. Excellent. Tomorrow's stage is a more melt in the stage. I'll see you then.